Hey, what's up, everyone? Raging Gold Nego here, having way too much fun, as always. And you guys probably have been following the story of Chick-fil-A and how the right seems to finally be learning their lesson. To summarize it early, we're going to be going over how the right has finally learned that the squeaky wheel gets the grease. So they've started being the squeaky wheel and getting the grease. So like uh, the aforementioned Chick-fil-A. The left pressured them into dropping support for a lot of what was allegedly their values, but apparently not anymore. And the right noticed them doing this, so they just decided, okay, fine. This big corporation has demonstrated that they will bend the knee to the reing outrage mobs. So we're just going to have to become a reing outrage mob ourselves if we want to get them to do what we want. And now they're attacking Chick-fil-A for the doing things that they view as more leftist, like donating to the Southern Poverty Lie Center. And now they're now the company's stuck in uh, between a rock and a hard place. They have to choose one side or the other, which is exactly what I was saying we need us to do about five or six years ago. I even did a whole video about that called The Counter Boycott. Which, uh, basically, to summarize that, if you see this some outrage mob trying to blackmail and threaten a company into bending the knee to them, you, the actual customers, the actual fans, the actual audience, you need to also get in touch with that company and say, hey, if you bend over for these guys and try to screw us over to appease them, we're going to be the ones leaving you. So you have to choose which one of us you can live without because, yeah, if you give in to them, we're gone. And they finally, after half a fucking decade, started listening to me. They finally started realizing after all these years of being screwed over and watching companies and governments give these reing outrage mobs everything they demand, they've finally seemed to have learned their fucking lesson. You do what works. Now, how long? You have to be a fucking idiot to not. I mean, just imagine if this was, you know, a couple hundred years ago. It's like guns are first being invented. And uh, you're just like, oh, I'm not going to use that shit. That's barbaric. I'm an honorable soldier. I'm going to use nothing but swords. Yeah, let's just say Darwin has a way of filtering that attitude out. If an enemy is using a tactic that's super effective on you, you either need to find a way to counter it, or you just need to use it against them. It's been readily accepted throughout history that every time one side invents some new weapon, that within 10, 15 years, it's going to be used by the other guys against them. It's just fact. That's just how the world works. But for whatever reason, the right over here in the West, they, oh, but, but uh, uh, my, my morality, uh, my principles, we can't, uh, no, no, we're going to follow our principles. Yeah, yeah, just, just, your principles are going to do you such a good, they're going to do you a lot of good when you're dead, you know, when you've lost. Yeah, just, just think, just imagine it this way. Your entire army gets wiped out because, you know, they stuck to their principles. And uh, now, uh, so all the men are dead. All the women and children are being uh, sold as sex slaves. Your legacy is dead. Nobody's going to be around to spread uh, you know, your legacy to, to advance the society you were fighting for. But at least you died fighting for your principles. And that's all that matters, isn't it? The enemy has a complete unmitigated victory, but at least you stuck by your principles. Aren't you fucking proud for all the good it did? And since your enemy, that one, is going to write history, they're also going to make sure that you're remembered as evil, shady pieces of shit. Just remember that. Yeah, rem remember that next time you, uh, you avoid winning because, oh, my principles. So the other side as well, they understand this. They know they have a winning strategy. Eventually, I still believe that companies are going to stop listening to these outrage mobs because they're going to, those that don't learn are going to go broke and the rest of them are going to realize 
no, that all of their peers are going broke for one. And for two, they're going to eventually after enough trial and error, they're going to figure it out. So, hey, wait a minute. This uh, outrage mob that was getting 50,000 likes on Twitter not only didn't translate to any new sales, but by appeasing them, we've lost sales. Eventually, cooler heads are going to prevail. And for the, the companies and governments this doesn't happen in, they're just going to go broke. That's how it works. But the other side knows that, for now at least, they have a winning tactic and that's why they try to stop us from using it all the time. You notice that one second they're reing about something, and then in the very next, them and the, all of their enemy infiltrators, the cucks among us, are up in arms. Like, oh, oh, no, 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 you guys can't do this. You're going to be just as bad as them if you use these tactics. Oh, no, we need to stick by our principles if we want to win. As they suffer loss after loss after loss after loss. Again, after decades of losing, looks like enough people are finally starting to wake up. And when these cucks show themselves, we just tell them to shut the fuck up and sit down. That's the only response, by the way. I don't care if you disagree with the way I'm doing things. If you're not going to help, then at the very least, get the fuck out of my way and stop hindering me as I try to fix the problem. You're just standing in my way right now. You're doing more damage than the enemy is. Fuck off. And they're finally being told exactly what they need to hear, which is exactly what I said, actually. As much as the NPCs try, we're on to them by now. These cucks, they're very easy to spot, by the way. When the other side is attacking you, the cucks never have anything to say. They're never around. But the second you retaliate, that's when they all s suddenly appear. They, oh, you can't do that. You're just as bad as them. That's when you know they're just enemy infiltrators. If they silently sit by and let you get hit, but the second you hit back, they have a problem with it. Yeah, you, you got to treat them like the enemy because that's what they are. They're always going to try this shit, though. They, oh, remember when we used to all just be civil and we could talk things out? You can't reduce yourself to their level or you're just going to keep spreading this attitude. Yeah, I actually do remember when we used to be able to talk things out. Yeah, we used to be able to do that back when we didn't encourage companies but to give in to this behavior, we can only go back to having civil discourse once outrage mobs stop being effective. And just like what I say about censorship, I always say the best way to turn someone who is pro-censorship into an advocate for freedom and against censorship is to censor them. Because everyone who preaches about that this and that must be censored, the government needs to have the power to censor this and whatever, they never seem to realize that that same censorship power can be used on them. So the best way to get them to fight against giving anyone the power to censor anybody is to censor them. That's the best way to turn us onto their or to turn them onto our side. Which is why I fully support censoring anyone who supports censorship. So, oh, okay, you, you like censorship? Then you shouldn't have a problem with me censoring you, bitch. Goodbye. <laughs> Blocked. <laughs> Whatever it takes. Deplatformed. Cancel. We got to cancel everyone who supports cancel culture. And eventually the problem's going to solve itself. Because the problem we have now is why would we be civil with each other when we know full well all we have to do is re loud enough and we get what we want. This type of behavior has been encouraged. Like Turd Flinging Monkey says, whatever you support, whatever you subsidize, you're going to get more of. So we've seen for decades companies just giving in to these outrage mobs and doing everything they demand. And every time someone tries to stand up to them, we got the cucks on our side. The enemy infiltrators say, oh, you don't want to be just as bad as them, do you? So that conditions all of these third parties, these companies and governments, into seeing our side as the worthless cucks they usually are. Like, oh, okay, we can give the outrage mob everything they want. 
and and these idiots are just going to let us get away with it. They're not going to do shit. What reason do we have to say no to the outrage mobs? There's no downside. Now, there is a downside to get woke, go broke and all, but the going broke phase usually happens so slow and over such a long length of time that they can usually find something else to blame it on. For example, Marvel and DC are crying about how piracy is killing the comic industry now, while anime and manga is still growing and getting more money than ever. But but of course, pir- piracy, right? That That's the reason they're failing. They'll always try to deflect, but I still say the smart ones are going to learn eventually. Until we can train these companies into standing up to these outrage mobs, we're going to have to just scream louder than them if we hope to get what we want. So before I sign off, Final example of that happening, actually, was we finally got that damn bath towel DLC in uh, Code Vein. People noticed that it was missing from the West about a month or two ago. They read loud enough, and they just decided, okay, fine, we got, we're just going to have to give them what they want. This is what we need more of. These companies have demonstrated to us that they will bend over to reing outrage mobs. So if you actually want them to make decisions you agree with, you're just going to have to scream louder than the other guys. And that's all i got to say, guys. Thanks for listening. In case some of you aren't aware yet, we actually have launched the Blade Devil merch shop. Link in the description box. So if you've ever wanted to support the channel but actually wanted something physical in return, we got the shop for you now. Lots of good stuff up in here. So if uh, you would like any of those or just in general want to support the channel, want to support original content, original products, like uh, Diversity in Comics always used to say, then uh, this is probably the best way to do it. So uh, check it out. We're going to be adding new items on a monthly basis, at least in the near future. So check back often, and independent projects like the ones we're working on are only possible thanks to you guys. So appreciate all of your support.